Hello everyone, welcome to the English devotional from Soldiers of the Cross. Let's begin in prayer. Heavenly Father, I come before your holy presence and I thank you and I praise you for this week that we are about to conclude. Thank you, Lord, for your blessings. Thank you for your companionship. Thank you because you are our God and you are our strength. Lord, we glorify your holy name because you are a good God. Your mercy, your love is forever. Father, we worship you, we bow down before you, and we know that you are our King. You reign in our hearts, Lord. You forgive our sins. You are everything to us. We glorify you. Father, I ask that you will be with those who are listening to this devotional today. Lord, you know each and every necessity that everyone has. You know their circumstances, their trials, their joys, their suffering. You know every detail of their life. So I ask that you will be with them, guide them, direct them, give them wisdom, soften hearts where it needs to be softened, Lord. Make paths firm. Father, give wisdom to those who are needing it. Give understanding. And Father, may you be glorified in it all. May the evil one who is out to seek and destroy not have any room to move and to work. In Jesus' name, amen. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our debts as we forgive our debtors. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory, forever and ever. Amen. Today's devotional is titled, Psalms, Jehovah Our Shepherd. It was written by Antonio Corrales and translated by Nelson Berries. Our biblical base comes from John 10. 1 through 16, so says the word of God. Most assuredly, I say to you, he who does not enter the sheepfold by the door, but climbs up some other way, the same is a thief and a robber. But he who enters by the door is a shepherd of the sheep. To him the doorkeeper opens, and the sheep hear his voice. And he calls his own sheep by name and leads them out. And when he brings out his own sheep, he goes before them, and the sheep follow him, for they know his voice. Yet they will by no means follow a stranger, but will flee from him, for they do not know the voice of strangers. Jesus used this illustration, but they did not understand the things which he spoke to them. Then Jesus said to them again, Most assuredly, I say to you, I am the door of the sheep. All who ever came before me are thieves and robbers, but the sheep did not hear them. I am the door. If anyone enters by me, he will be saved, and will go in and out and find pasture. The thief does not come except to steal and to kill and to destroy. I have come that they may have life, and that they may have it more abundantly. I am the good shepherd. The good shepherd gives his life for the sheep. But the hireling, he who is not the shepherd, one who does not own the sheep, sees the wolf coming and leaves the sheep and flees. And the wolf catches the sheep and scatters them. The hireling flees because he is a hireling and does not care about the sheep. I am the good shepherd and I know my sheep and am known by my own. As the father knows me, even so I know the father and I lay down my life for the sheep and the other sheep I have which are not of this fold, them also I must bring and they will hear my voice and there will be one flock and one shepherd. Amen. May we be blessed by the reading of the scripture. Psalms lift our soul to God and move us to worship. How many of us have been blessed, comforted, and stimulated through reading and memorizing this book of Psalm? But if we are going to mention the most quoted and learned Psalms, without a doubt we have to declare that it is Psalm of the Shepherd, the poetically amazing way in which the author shows us his confidence and security in the Good Shepherd, leads us to see how glorious it is to remain in the delicate pastures in which he makes us rest, knowing that, even in the midst of the valleys of the shadow of death, 
we should not have any fear because he is by our side comforts and brings encouragement to our soul jesus is also presented in the new testament as the good shepherd and it is precisely in him that we find the greatest proof of love when the good shepherd gave his life for the sheep and he even leaves the ninety-nine in the fold and goes out in search of the lost sheep to bring it to good pastures to the protection and safety of the shepherd amen may the lord receive the honor and the glory lord if we could we would fill our hands with all the wonderful things you give us then we lift them up and give them back to you What a beautiful song. And now we invite you to check out the YouTube channel, SCC English Ministry, for our daily Bible reading. And now we ask that the blessed love of God, the grace and peace of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ, the companion and communion of the Holy Spirit, our great counselor, be with all of his children now and forever. Amen. <music>